Welcome to our channel, where we simplify complex news stories for you. Today we're talking about Apple's billion-dollar plan to enter the cinema industry. Apple is investing in producing movies to release in theaters and increase its profile in Hollywood while luring more subscribers to its streaming service. In this video, we will discuss Apple's ambitious plan and its implications for the entertainment industry. According to sources, Apple plans to spend $1 billion per year on producing movies that will be released in theaters. The company has approached movie studios to release some titles in theaters this year and a slate of more films in the future. Potential releases include Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon, Ridley Scott's drama about the French conqueror Napoleon, and the spy thriller Argyle, from director Matthew Vaughn. Apple has promised to put movies in thousands of theaters for at least a month, and it views theaters as a way to build awareness for its TV Plus streaming service. Apple TV Plus has an estimated 20 to 40 million subscribers, far less than its rivals Netflix and Disney Plus. Therefore, if Apple is going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on a Scorsese movie, it wants to turn that into a cultural event. While Apple agreed to theatrical releases to please talent and outmaneuver competitors for projects, it still hasn't figured out how to distribute these movies in theaters. The company doesn't have the expertise internally to release movies in thousands of cinemas worldwide at once. That's why it has approached third-party distributors. Apple needs to come to terms on distribution fees and marketing budgets with potential partners. Paramount Pictures will release the Scorsese movie in theaters because the project originated at that studio, and it will collect a 10% distribution fee. The studio hasn't agreed to distribute other titles for Apple. Apple's previous movies didn't receive the kind of theatrical release planned for the upcoming titles. For example, Coda earned less than $2 million at the box office, while Cherry, a crime drama starring Tom Holland, appeared in select theaters for a couple of weeks in 2021. Apple didn't report its ticket sales. Apple's plans will boost theater chains still struggling to recover from the pandemic. Ticket sales remain about a third below 2019 levels, and two of the largest chains are on shaky financial footing. AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc., the world's largest cinema operator, has sought to raise more cash by selling shares, while rival Sinworld Group PLC filed for bankruptcy last year. The chains have repeatedly blamed the dearth of available films from studios for their woes, rather than moviegoers' lack of interest in returning to theaters. Amazon, which acquired Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, aims to make between 12 and 15 movies annually that will get a theatrical release. Other movie studios like Paramount, Walt Disney Company, and Warner Brothers Discovery Incorporated are looking to increase their output of movies for theaters after experimenting with distributing films on streaming services alone. Netflix, on the other hand, wants its movies to appear in theaters and online at the same time or within a couple of weeks. However, major cinema chains have refused this arrangement. Netflix spends more on original movies than Amazon or Apple. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more simplified news stories.